All right, so busi anfo wo ye mamun nyina kwa ba de ba Lavest TV Africa. Kwa wo kwa wo nimsa fibia his excellency. Nana Adodan kwa okufu ado. Eba eye kwa obedista. I mean the president. Um I feel about the Stone Age Park, one of the most beautiful tourist sites a kwa enya e wo abitifi. Enti ya to ne din Abitifi Stone Age Park. Aiwa Mr. Ado abo money ayen fefefe na udru ho no mo a wani be jikeke enti afi kwa easter no na na do dan kwa kufu ado e bae de di kan paye a na na no mo eyiye bom paye fre na na no mo samafo gunsa bom paye gunsa bom paye ni enti ni enhwe se ne koye yiwi a na afi ya toaso
Minister, Minister for Food and Agriculture, a Member of Parliament for Abitifi, a Deputy Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, District Chief Executive for Abitifi District Assembly, and other MMDCEs, Chair of the Board and Chief Executive of the Ghana Tourism Authority, Raoul Marwehine, and I'm Piazza Hine and Nadanum, residents of Abitifi, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are Gesami Kami Chi. We are met here today to celebrate the vision of one person who has transformed the hitherto refuse dump into a heritage site. It has been nine years in the making, and I congratulate Mr. Bernardo for the brilliance of this initiative. I'm sure that in trying to execute this project, he faced a lot of challenges, which would, have, which would have forced him to give up. He's not giving up. It's the reason why we're here today. The realization of this project teaches us two essential things. Firstly, the challenge of protecting our environment, our forests and water bodies. If this site was still a refuse dump, there will probably be issues of disease outbreak which would have affected the community. It is for this reason that I appeal to the Nanum and all Ghanaians to help protect the environment, including helping deal with issues of illegal dumping of refuge. Secondly, the need for us to support eco-tourism. The economic impact of tourism cannot be overlooked or ignored. Over the years, some of our sister African countries like Kenya, Gambia, and South Africa 
have been able to leverage ecotourism to create employment and generate significant revenue for their respective countries. At the Tiffy Stone Age Park, a place whose history dates back to some 12,500 years ago, when duly supported, will attract tourists and history lovers into the country. For this reason, I'll appeal to everyone, especially all the people of Kuru, to take this project as theirs. Do not see it to be a project for one person, but as a project for every one of us. And I want to assure the founder, the government for its part, and myself personally, will make the necessary contribution to make this project a reality. I'm confident that sooner rather than later, a particular Stone Age Park will be one of the foremost historic sites in the country. Holiday <laughs> Nananon, ladies and gentlemen, I declare the Abitifi Stone Age Park duly commissioned. May God bless us all in our homeland land and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Yeah, I want to get my own.